Hello, 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 hello. Hello, hello. Hello, 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 hello. Okay, I'm done. All right. Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Nikki. Much ado about Nikki. I'm back. Um, I'm going to try to be consistent and make sure that I have a video for you guys every Wednesday. Okay. And like I said, it's anything. It could be a song. If you got a song request, let me know. If you want to chat about something, let me know. Um, or anything. Just let me know. You know, no negativity on this. You know, not. But definitely open to debate. So, doesn't mean you have to agree. Definitely open to debate. Just not, you know, any negativity or um, anything mean. So, what I want to talk about today, um, power or powerless which one are you um so i'm gonna start with um power in general um of course like i said i have been raised from a from the church and so one of the things that bothers me um it's like where i am in my journey right now just in truth and i'm excuse my language but all the veils are coming off my eyes for all the BS. So all the BS that's out here, I can see it. And I'm starting to see it clearly. And I'm like, well, what? Oh, my goodness. What's been going on? Like, have I been asleep or what? So one of the things, of course, going back to the church, I'm a type of person um, very much into power. And that's one of the attractive things about spirituality to me. Um, and when I talk about God and things like that is the power of God, especially, of course, reading in the Bible. For those of you that um, do read the Bible, just I, I am very um, taken back and in awe of the miracles and the power and everything in the Bible. But one of the things that annoys me is that. In my upbringing, I have yet to see the power that has been manifested in the Bible in the churches. So what does that say? Is the church dead? You know, because it doesn't manifest the power that God said that will be seen. Greater works shall men do now than were before. But I have yet to see them. So when somebody gives a testimony and says, oh, my back hurts or my knee hurts. You know, why haven't we seen the power of actually healing them there on the spot? Yes, we have the power of prayer, but we also have the power of healing a person and laying hands on a person and touching them then and there or even looking at somebody and they become healed. And some of the things that um, I'm beginning to research, some of you might found it, find it, left field, all of those different things that I stated before in my previous video, which I am, um, you know, just kind of march to my own drum, is um, different things and powers about us as human beings. So I've researched different things and I've seen that there are people in India who, um, especially some of the monks as well, they levitate um, or, you know, through meditation and things like that. There are people who... Um, you know, have the energy in their hands. And there's this one guy, he can um, pretty much like start a fire with his hands. And um, there showed some um, Asian doctors who were who were uh, doing a procedure with this lady. And they were actually able to speak the cancer out of her. Like you could see on the screen where they had it, you know, where you could see the cancer on, in this lady. And they were able to chant it out of her. And what they were chanting in their own language was like, she's whole, she's healed. And it actually reversed back to me, to the Bible and my upbringing on a lot of the things and a lot of the verses that are already there um, in plain sight in the Bible. But we looked at those things as figurative and not literal. And I'm beginning to understand that a lot of these things are literal. The reason why us as Christians say oh they're figurative is because we really don't have the faith to believe that it can manifest the way it does and so again do you render yourself do you see yourself as powerful or powerless because if somebody was to walk up in the middle of the church 
while somebody's speaking and somebody's saying, oh, complaining of headaches. And you walk up to that person and you touch their head in the middle of testimony session. How many people in that church will look at you like you're crazy? Will already begin like, who is that? Would all the deacons begin to come over to take you out of the church because they think you're crazy? But yet, yet, we're the ones preaching about the power of God. But when it's time for the power of God to actually be rendered, we don't believe it. So, a lot of our churches are dead. Um, I do still go to church. Um, I'm just starting to walk into my own light and beginning to see a lot of different things. And I feel like if we were made as after God's image, we have power within us. He's already said that he's within us and that he's given us the power within us. But another um, debate, I feel like we, so many times we go outside of ourselves and going to a church or someone else always asking for something, looking for external um, help when the answer is right here. Because that's what he said in his word. Um, so I'm starting to walk in my power. I'm starting to see power in a different way. And I don't feel like power is religious based. Um, anybody has it. Anybody can tap into it. And um, these are the things that I'm just beginning to see. And I'm just calling BS when I see it. So let's talk. I would love to hear more. All right, bye.